Now, this video will teach you how to use the Western Digital SMR hard drive module 190 auto repair solution. We can check under the Western Digital and these are common firmware repair solutions. And at the end of this clump, and we can check there are several functions, especially for the Western Digital SMR hard drive. And there is one function called Repair Module 190. Now let's check how to use this auto repair solution for the module 190. So the drive gets ready. Now we can check Repair Module 190, and there are two modes. Intelligent mode and expert mode. Expert mode is used manually to repair module 190, and then the intelligent mode is used automatically to repair module 190 by the program. Now we select the intelligent mode, and then we click OK. Here we need to select the patient module 190. If the module 190 is corrupted, and we just need to select this one, okay, so this is module 190 we have imported to this repair manager. Now we can sort all the loads by LBA and we can find out the valid data and unallocated space. Because this is one new drive, it's because there is just a few data inside. And this is node interface. And we can click on any node and right click. We can find out there are two options available. And the very first option is to repair the module 180 automatically. So we can see automatic repair. This is to repair the wrong loads. This one load is another load, and these are all the loads inside. And these nodes are the data records inside and it has rec recorded a lot of data locations, data size inside. So the loads are very important. So we just select the auto repair and we can find out this is the repaired T2 data to be saved. All the valid data are stored in this T2 data. So we just simply click save. There is one has been existed. And we can replace the T2 data with just a backup. Because this is the one we just repair automatically with this module 190 repair manager. So now we can use the repaired T2 data to load it to the RAM to fix the 00, zero problem. Now we click the edit head map in RAM and here is one function called node T2 and parse. We can select the parse here because we just saved the repaired T2 data in this parse and we can see here is the one this is a repaired T2 data parse and so we select this parse we click load here we can tick this one and this one is ticked automatically and by default settings we can see automatic loading after power reset. This makes sure for each power reset, 
the T2 data will be loaded to the RAM automatically. And to make sure the all zero issue will be fixed automatically. Now let's try to get this ID information. We can see here the 5588. This is a partition mark. That means after loading the T2 data, the repaired T2 data, and this drive data error can be accessed normally. So next, we can try to use this repaired T2 data to set up the head map. We can see there is one new project, and we can use disk image. We can set up one uh, virtual disk, this one. Click finish. Now we can see on the left side, we can use head map. Set up the head map. This is Western Digital, so we need to select this brand. And we need to select the last one, the WD Royal SMR. And node from file, and here we need to select. Uh, we can select all files, and then we select this repaired T2 data, and click OK. Then we click OK to continue the head map, head map setup. Now we can see from the knock window, we just need to wait until the head map process complete this one is very fast now we can see the program is analyzing the t2 data the repaired t2 data file and we can see the head information has been analyzed successfully and the head map shows there are two heads so the head map has been set up successfully so we, just, we can use this repaired t2 data file to set up the head map and then we can start the disk image i need to select one different tar target disk because this VHD has contained some data. The program detected the data and refused to write. To make sure the data is not destroyed by the overwritten new data. So this one is very easy. Users, here we can select target disk set a new target disk yes and we can create one new vhd here okay we still uh, we select this new vhd as one target drive and then we can select the click start now we can see that the image starts successfully to image the pension drive to this new VHD. So this is how we use the module 190 auto repair solution. Here is the intelligent mode. This is auto repair solution. So it's very easy to use this one. Okay. Thank you for watching the video.